I wish I could touch every soul that comes to the station. Being a student is when I discovered this place. Um, it's unique because it combines elements of the rainforest and the cloud forest in one place. And it's got unique species of plants, insects, and animals that cannot be found in any other kind of ecosystem. The thing that struck me about the station, and I think its greatest strength, is that it is remote. It's an hour off the beaten path and we are you know, in this remarkable facility in a treehouse in the canopy. So here at the field station is um, the first time in the trip that we really immerse them in the art and the science of uh, data collection. We break out the field work uh, into understanding how these river systems work and how the hydrologic cycle works in a, in a rainforest. Uh, and then we also go into the, into the forest and get them to understand and look at the structural uh, species differences between primary uh, and secondary forest. Back home in America we're always on our phone or always on our computer and out here we have no cell service and we have four hours of electricity and uh, so it's been kind of nice getting to know myself. When the lights go off that's it. It's just the sound of the jungle all around you and you wake up at 5 a.m. and you hear the birds singing and it's just it's beautiful. I absolutely loved it. It gives our students uh, a truly life-changing uh, opportunity to be immersed in this incredible place. The field station's been incredible. Uh, I had no idea it was going to be in the center of the rainforest. Just being able to look out in the morning and see all of the birds and not have to even leave the field station to do that has been really incredible. It really does seem magical.